It's planting season again at the Indiana farm in Alan Kemper's family since 1888. He's looking forward to a pretty good year, and why not? The price of the corn he grows has soared 52 percent in the last 12 months. The soybeans are up 45 percent. All thanks to big demand from here all the way to China. So we're in a global society right now. The, the need for food and protein is increasing. As the global economy is improving, emerging middle classes in the developing world are demanding better diets. More meat, less rice. But the demand is increasing now just as bad weather has been reducing supplies in food producing countries. Add in the rising cost of fuel and you have a recipe for higher prices at the grocery. Definitely paying a lot more for food than I have been before, especially things like produce. February saw the highest monthly increase in 36 years. These price increases are a shock because the last two years we've had moderate to almost negligible food price inflation well below 1%. But now the Agriculture Department estimates a 3 to 4% price rise in all food this year. Enough to ruin your appetite. Pork up six to seven percent. Vegetables up five percent. Eggs up as much as five and a half percent. Milk up five percent. And beef a four and a half to five and a half percent price hike. So as I look on this list, nothing is going down. Nothing this year is going down. That's correct. Chicago butcher Bill Barnheisel says that kind of increase turns off his customers. Do people come to you and say, gee whiz, Bill, what, what is these prices? Sure, all the time, every day. $20.24. If that price keeps getting higher and higher, you know, we just are making less and less money. What makes this even more painful is that while prices are going up, consumer wages are staying flat. And the prices are not expected to go down anytime soon. Certainly not before Alan Kemper's crop is ready to harvest next fall. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Lafayette, Indiana.